Good morning dear students let us take a look at this question from JE advanced 2020 this question is from the heat transfer chapter so let us first analyze the question the filament of a light bulb has surface area 64 mm square so let us first take a light bulb you can see the filament in this bulb and this filament area is 64 mm square the filament can be considered as a black body at temperature 2500 kelvin right now the filament here is at 300 kelvin which is room temperature let us now pass current and take it up to 2500 kelvin let us take up the temperature of the filament in incremental steps and while we are taking up the temperature of this filament i want you to observe one thing so we know that from wien's displacement law lambda is inversely proportional to t so as we are increasing the temperature okay as we are increasing the temperature i want you to notice the color of the filament let us first increase the temperature of this filament to 1000 kelvin we have heated the filament here to 1000 kelvin and observe the color the color of the filament is red let us now increase the temperature of the filament to the value that they have asked in the question which is 2500 kelvin so at 2500 kelvin this is how a black body will look like it has a very bright yellow color so our problem must be solved at uh, this temperature but i am going to increase the temperature of the filament even more so that you can observe how this filament will look like at higher temperatures let us now increase the temperature of the filament to 6500 kelvin i really don't know what has happened here uh, while i was increasing the temperature to 6500 kelvin this has got switched off let me just check what has happened okay i just found out the issue the issue is that the melting point of tungsten is uh, 3700 kelvin as i was heating up uh, this filament to 6500 kelvin this tungsten melted there was a circuit break and so this got switched off let me replace this filament with a different material so that we can increase the temperature to 6500 kelvin just give me 2 minutes i am replacing it right now the filament is replaced by a different material let us move the temperature up to 6500 kelvin at 6500 kelvin the color of this body is bright white so this is what i want you to observe a black body at 6500 kelvin will look like this also observe that the radiated energy is also increasing with temperature let us now increase the temperature of this black body to 8000 kelvin so as the temperature is increased you can see that there is a very light blue tint to the color that we are getting here this is because at higher temperature the lambda value is less in the visible region the less lambda corresponds to a more bluish color so observe one more thing if we increase the temperature even more this light starts to become more bluish So let us now increase the temperature of this filament to 10000 Kelvin. You can see here that the emitted light has a blue tint and the emitted power has also increased considerably. In the question it is said that the black body's temperature is 2500 Kelvin. Let us take the temperature of this filament back to 2500 Kelvin. and start to solve our question
So now the filament is back at 2500 Kelvin. The filament can be considered as a black body at temperature 2500 Kelvin emitting radiation like a point source when viewed from far. So when we view this from far, we can consider this as a point source. Assume the pupil of the eyes of the observer to be circular with radius 3 mm. So this is an eyeball and this here is the pupil and the radius of this pupil is 3 mm. Now this is at a distance of 100 meters from the source. So the observer here is at a distance of 100 meters from the source. Then he has given some constants here, Stefan Boltzmann constant, Wien's displacement constant, Planck's constant and speed of light in vacuum. So the first option or the first statement is power radiated by the filament is in the range 642 watts to 645 watts. You can think of this as a pulse of uh, electromagnetic radiation which is released by the point source. Now how much of this energy is being emitted per unit time is what we have to calculate. The power emitted by the black body is sigma a t power 4. So power radiated is sigma. The sigma has been given here Stefan Boltzmann constant which is 5.67 into 10 power minus 8. So we have written that here. The area of the filament he has given us 64 millimeter square. I am converting this into meter square. So 64 into 10 power minus 3 the whole square. Next the temperature of this body is 2500 Kelvin. So 2500 whole power 4. I am just rearranging the terms here 5.67 64 I am writing it here. 2500 whole power 4 I am writing 25 power 4 into 10 power 8. Next taking all the 10 powers to one side so 10 power minus 8 so 10 power minus 8 power minus 6 so minus 6 and plus 8 from here plus 8 from here. Next to simplify the calculation I am writing this as this 25 I am writing this as 100 by 4. So 25 power 4 is 100 by 4 into 100 by 4 into 100 by 4 into 100 by 4. This whole thing becomes 10 power minus 6. Next I can cancel out 4, 4, 4 and 64 here. I will be left with 5.67 divided by 4 into 10 square. So if we simplify this we will get 1.417 into 10 square or 141.7 watts. So this is the answer to our question and uh, here he is saying the power radiated is in the range 642 to 645 which is false. The next statement is radiated power entering into one eye of the observer is in the range 3.15 into 10 power minus 8 watts to 3.25 into 10 power minus 8 watts. So at point P, the intensity of uh, the radiation is power divided by area which is P by 4 pi r square where r is 100 meters. The power entering the eye is intensity at point P into pi r square where r is the radius of the pupil. So intensity at this point into this area is the power entering the eye. So P dash which is power entering the eye equals to intensity times pi r square. Intensity value I have put from here and we can cancel out pi and pi we get P by 4 into small r by capital R the whole square. So the power entering the eye is P. This P is 141.7 watts divided by 4, 4 here. Small r is given as 3 millimeter. I am converting it into meter. So 3 into 10 power minus 3 and capital R is 100 meters. So 100 I am writing it here, the whole square. 
simplifying it further uh, i can write this as 141 by 4 so 141.7 by 4 3 square is 9 this comes out to be 10 power minus 5 10 power minus 5 whole square is 10 power minus 10 calculating this comes out to be 318.8 into 10 power minus 10 watts this can also be written as 3.18 into 10 power minus 8 watts so this is the answer we have got and it matches it is in the range of what values he has given so we will mark the statement as true the next question he is asking us is the wavelength corresponding to the maximum intensity of light is 1160 nanometers we will be using Wien's displacement law to calculate this so we have lambda m into t equals to b he has given us the value of b and also the value of t we can write this as lambda m equals to b by t the value of b is given as 2.9 into 10 power minus 3 and t is given as 2500 in the next step to simplify the calculation i'm writing it like this so 2.9 i'm writing it as 2.9 2500 i'm writing it as 25 into 100 so this i'm writing it as 25 into 100 and this 25 i'm writing it as 100 by 4 so this becomes easy to calculate now so simplifying this we get 11.6 into 10 power minus 7 meter or this we can write as 1160 nanometers so this is a correct option so we'll mark this statement as true the last question Taking the average wavelength of emitted radiation to be 1740 nanometers, the total number of photons entering per second into one eye of the observer is in the range 2.75 into 10 power 11 to 2.85 into 10 power 11. We have found out the power entering into the eye is 3.18 into 10 power minus 8 watts. So the total power we can write it as the energy of each photon into the number of photons entering the I per second. So N is the number of photons entering I per second. So that is the total power entering the I. We need to calculate what is N. So N equals to P lambda by HC. He has given us all the values here. So P is 3.18 into 10 power minus 8 from here the lambda value is 1740 nanometers so i'm writing it as 1740 into 10 power minus 9 meters planck's constant is given in the question so that is 6.63 into 10 power minus 34 the speed of light is also given in question which is 3 into 10 power 8 so further simplifying this i'm bringing all these terms here and the 10 parts i'm taking it this side the reason why I'm doing the detailed calculation of this is some students had left this question because they felt the calculation was very lengthy. But uh, as he has given us a range here, we can make few approximations and solve it. I'm writing this 3.18 by 663 as 318 by 663 and uh, cancelling out 3 with uh, 580 gives 1740. So I'm writing 580 into this thing is 10 power 9. Again, with 3M cancelling out these both, I'll get 106 divided by 221 into 580 into 10 power 9. One approximation I'm making here, writing this 221 as I'm putting a 0 here. Okay, Just putting this 1 as 0 isn't going to change the value much. So I can cancel out this 0, this 0 here and 2 times 11, 22 and 2 times 29, 58 here. Now we can write this as 106 divided by 11. So 106 divided by 11, 29 I can write as 30 minus 1 so as to make my calculation very easy. So multiplying this 106 into 30 is 3180 minus 106 divided by 11 into 10 power 9. The final answer we get is 2.79 into 10 power 11. The value that he has given here and this answer that we are getting is in this range. So we can mark the statement as true. So finally, the second, third and the fourth statements are correct. So that's it for this question. See you all and we will meet again in the next video.